Yo, what's up, all you dope students? I'm Mr. Chad Ricky, ready to get down with some inputs and outputs from Lesson 5 in Code.O. Here we go. We got input and output. Input is the information computers get from users, devices, and other computers. Meanwhile, we got output, which is the information computers give to users, devices, and other computers. Okay, for instance, input, you might input your name, your address, and all that other stuff. Your output is going to be what comes from that. Okay, so when you put in your name, maybe you get something like a story, or maybe you type in some stuff, your credit card number and all that, and the output is your order comes. Okay. You get a ver verification, something like that. So anyway, that's our input and our output. Today we're going to be working on Unit 1, Lesson 5, Activity Guide. Once again, we have the input, the output. You're going to be working with some apps today. So I want to help you all see what's up. All right, here we go. Yeah, is this... Cringy, you bet. You bet it's cringy. All right. So you're going to work with the ultimate pet chooser, run. You play it. You do all your select things. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a tarantula. Whoa. All right. Then don't forget to go back to the activity guide. And you talk about the inputs of the pet chooser and the outputs of the pet chooser. Do it a few times, man. Do the pet chooser more than once. Do it five or six times. See all the animals that are on there. All right. Then make sure you go to the pet chooser information and fill in the inputs and outputs. Next, we got Story Creator. Yeah, man. Story Creator, put in the inputs and see what the output is you're going to talk about the inputs the outputs you're going to go back to the story creator in the activity guide and you're going to talk about the inputs and outputs all right now what about an app that you have maybe you got an app that you think is going to be an awesome app yeah i don't know what it might be Maybe it's a game. Maybe it's a what kind of drink should you get? Whatever it is, put down your ideas. What does it do? What are the inputs? What are the outputs? You're going to write those down. Some other inputs. What about other inputs that you might have for any app? Okay. So far, all you've done is all of the input come directly from the user. What are some other ways inputs go into an app, okay, that the app might need? So one example might be the internet, okay? Maybe it's connected to the internet and it gets all the information, okay? Just think about this. Think about this for a second. Think about it. Think about it. You have an app like Instagram. It's got to be connected to the internet, right? Or how does your friend see the picture you posted? So it's got to have internet. Internet is linking it all. The output, the input, it's all, all crazy. So you put some more after that. Then you're going to go back to the... Now this app is even better. You're going to run it. Run it a couple of times. Go through it. See what the ultimate pep chooser does. It's improved. And then you're going to go back to the activity guide. You're going to write some more about your app idea. And after you do the improved pet app, what is so cool about it? What are some phone sensors that might need to be in there? What are some internet information pieces that might need to be in there? Hey, it also gives you about pet stores that are close by and new input sources. So determine the information 
that the app gets from the phone sensors and the internet. So that's today's activity. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have had some fun during this little cringy video, but just know that I care about you and we can have as much fun as we want to have. All right. So do some input, do some output, have some fun, find out what kind of pet you're going to get and read a Western story about you. Take care and see you later.